Hello out there, I'm Tony Baker, and joining us today is Mark Cavanis. Hi Mark. Hi Tony, it's great to be here. Thanks for being here. Uh, we're going to be doing another edition of Word Music's digital reading sessions today. We're very excited about this new format to share our new music with you. Um, today we're going to be talking about The Case of the Reluctant Innkeeper. This is a brand new musical we have from our traditional imprint called Yubilate. Mark, can you give us a quick introduction? Absolutely, Tony. Uh, the Reluctant Case of the Reluctant Innkeeper is a 20-minute musical for kids, uh, perfect for grades K through 4, but it could be all the way up to K through 6 because the material is certainly appropriate for that age as well. can be performed with as few as 8 children or many more. Uh, you could perform with 50 kids. You know, there's enough to go around there. But uh, it's a fun little musical, 20 minutes in length, and it's set in a courtroom with Judge Jody Justice, and uh, who's in Bethlehem Court. So uh, Ruthie and I had a lot of fun with uh, that uh, setting. That's great. And you know, another thing I love about this musical is how it's packaged. Can you tell everyone how, how we package? Good question. It's in the reproducible format, and what that means is that the people who buy this uh, have the permission to photocopy portions of the book. The only reason we do that is that we've found through our research and experience over the years is that since this is geared for younger children's choirs in general, that those kids don't, sometimes they don't even read, let alone read music. And so they don't need a book per kid, you know, like our older kids' musicals. So in this format, for those children who do want something and need something to take home with them so that they can learn the music and learn their lines and all that stuff, um, there's the reproducible section in the book that, that the director can uh, photocopy and give to those children who need that kind of a material to take home with them so that they can learn the material. And also in the package is an accompaniment track. So it's really a good deal. You get the, the, the kit uh, with the accompaniment track uh, all together. So one mm -hmm. item and you're good to go. That's excellent. The first song we have today is No Vacancy. Can you set that up for everybody? Sure Mark? thing. And uh, since the innkeeper was reluctant, one of the reasons he was reluctant is there was no vacancy in the inn that right, night. Right. And so Ruthie and I had a lot of fun writing this song. Uh, the, the, the end of it is particularly kind of fun, where they're saying, see you later, alligator, don't you look back, Jack, and that kind of <laughs> stuff. Kids, I think, will have a lot of fun like that. Great. Yeah. Well, let's take a look. That was No Vacancy, and next we're going to look at Angels in the Sky. Mark, could you tell us about that? Angels in the Sky is, you know, the, the birth has just happened and the angels are announcing the birth of Christ, and so really it's a carol medley of a lot of angel carols, so a lot of fun uh, with angel carols. Excellent. Let's have a look.
That was Angels in the Sky. Next, we're going to take a look at Change Things Around. Mark, can you tell us about that? Yes. Uh, you know, in children's musicals that I've written over the years, uh, it's, it's always fun not only to weave a message in about the Christmas story, obviously, if it's a Christmas musical, but it's always nice to put another little slant and an angle in there. And so this happened to be the angle I chose for this musical, was that God can take bad and turn it into good. God can take unexpected uh, and turn it into a miracle. Mm -hmm. And so that's, when you look at the Christmas story, a lot of that went on, where, where the unexpected turned into a, a good thing. And so this song talks about that, how God can change things around for good. Excellent. Let's take a look. Well, that was a lot of fun. Next up is All Because of Bethlehem. This is the ballad, and you need a good uh, kind of heart-tugging ballad somewhere along the way. And mm -hmm. so uh, Ruthie and I had a lot of fun writing this one, and it incorporates Silent Night. So uh, Christmas is always special when kids sing Silent Night. So All Because of Bethlehem. All right, Mark, well, we have one more to show these folks today. Um, can you tell us about the closer? Sure, the uh, closing song is Joy to the World, and uh, it's such a, you know, it's a classic, of course, a Christmas classic, so we thought it'd be fun to enter with or exit with just a wonderful proclamation, and then there's a little quick tag-on reprise of the song Change Things Around, which kind of uh, underscores one of the, the underlying messages of the musical. Excellent. Let's hear it. Thank you for joining us today for this edition of Word Music's Digital Reading Sessions. Um, again, this was The Case of the Reluctant Innkeeper by Mark Cavanis and Ruth Elaine Schramm. Thanks very much. Have a great day.